All right, good day my friends. Today we're going to go back in time to January of this year, 2022. You know what? And show you what's in the trick tickle trunk. What is in the trickle tickle? Can't even say it. Tickle trunk, Chuck. Let's check it out. Hey, there's a box of donuts here. Oh, just wait. We're not going to show you what it is. You have to watch the video to see very rare model cut in the donut. Hidden in the donut cabinet. Alright, good morning kids, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Or, if it's not morning in your neck of the woods, whatever time of day, I say good day. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say for an intro. Anyhow, today, I think we're going to take a look in here. I got something to show you. Look at this. What is that? Two, four, six, eight. It's a little bit of saved up cashola. Now I'll show you another video maybe how I come up with this little bit of stash money. It's my stash, my car model stash. Breaking stuff already. Uh, my car model stash money and stuff. And I'll show you how I do that. A little bit extra. And I think we're going to use this little bit extra to go on eBay and do a old car model purchase. Now the last purchase I did was the 78 or 77 Valari Roadrunner. You guys saw this. And I paid a hundred bucks for this. So if I pay another hundred bucks for another kit, rare kit, so be it. And in some ways this hundred dollar kit to me was free I didn't pay for it and that's why I want to show you next time why I didn't pay for this these kits but anyhow let's uh, go check out what the eBay is got in stock for us uh, the other thing what is it gonna say if I can buy four five rare kits like this for fifty to hundred bucks a year that's not bad considering technically these things are free again I'm mentioning free because we'll go back to doing a video on that later anyhow let's go check out the evil bay okay here's what I'm thinking of this car here uh, three hours to go on this unit blah 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 it's a Sox and Martin Cuda that's what we got up so let's check this out here we go 69 bucks and you know what check this out Surrey BC it's located and you know what Surrey BC is the city over from me so how lucky is that so it's a sealed kit and I kind of like it uh, this kit I've wanted for a long time oh what happened uh, oh there we go try that uh, never been opened. Wow, that is pretty cool. It's a 50 year old kit, something like that. How come some of the pictures are not showing up? Oh, there we go. Boss Cuda. I don't know what the going rate is on these, but 69 bucks seems pretty good to me. And yeah, pretty cool. So that's what I'm thinking of bidding on. My other option is where did they have here? Uh, this one here. Johan 70 Superbird. It's at 63 bucks Canadian, which was 50 American. Uh, that's too much for my blood. The rest, but yeah, this one. There's another one here. Not bad. 50 bucks. So here's a couple others that I'm kind of watching. This one here. I bid on that one just to see what would happen. I bid 70 bucks, and I yeah it's uh went up in price that's the current bid is 86 um they got the road runner that one is not bad i kind of like that one but that's uh, maybe a little too much for me and this is the one that we're currently focused on so i uh this one here i like the 71 cuda style i think i could do something with that and I'm gonna if I buy this I'm unboxing it on YouTube we're gonna open a sealed kit so there that's my options kids okay countdown is on should I should I should I throw $70 here I 
don't know. Uh, why did I just hum and haw about that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have just bit the bullet and went for it. Because I do like these kits. Okay, maybe a bit disappointing, but not disappointing in that I got plan B. I'm just as excited for plan B. I do have a build idea in mind of this kit. So let's go do that. We're running out of time, so... Okay, I haven't put a bid on it yet. 24 bucks, 24 bucks. Let's see, 20 seconds left. I've put 55 on. Yeah, let's do that. 55, 55. Five. Oh, good luck. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should go more. You know what? I should put 70 bucks just in case I think it goes higher. Just, just in case. But I'm at 70 Canadian now, so what's gonna happen? I don't know. Ah, I don't know. How in the hell? I gotta. That's okay, kids. Look what happened. We won. We won. We won. We won. 50 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Bad at all. I'll uh, take it all day, every day. So, um, bum, 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 bum. Excited to get this kit. Should be a fun build and fun to unpackage this when it arrives. And uh, a 50, what, two year old kit still sealed. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Oh, I love it. A few moments later. Moments later. More moments later. 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 Several days later. All right, all right. I got a phone call from some guy and he says, Hey, buddy, I got a package for you. And I'm like, uh, sorry, my friend, but I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, I know. Bad, sick humor. Anyhow, this must be mine. Oh, look, it's got my name on it. Oh, joy, joy. Oh, here, you want to hear? It doesn't sound too good. Sounds like something broken up in pieces. Uh, it almost looks like the box was, sorry, am I filming this? Kind of taped a second time. And you know what? That could be the uh, border. They might have uh, retaped it. I think that's what happened. Maybe, maybe not. No, it looks like one piece of tape on it. So it's hard to say. The border usually opens things and, and you know, inspects it to make sure I'm not smuggling drugs or Mexicans or something. But no, actually this one wasn't open. Maybe they just, uh, maybe they just did the x-ray. Anyhow, let's go up. Let's check it out. Chuck it out. Check out what's in here. You know, it's funny, I'm like a kid at Christmas time, I just want to shake it. Oh, what's in there? What's in there? I know what's in there, but yeah. Or you know what? Or you know what? Like my kids used to say, I'm so excited, I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> Whoops, somebody's listening to me down there. <laughs> That's okay. Join the conversation, I don't mind. So kids, it's the unboxing. Actually, we're not going to do unboxing yet. We're going to do a look to see if it survived without them ripping open the original packaging. All right, all right, all right. Let's try that out. We got the camera set up. Not going to be able to see my ugly face, but this was what we want you to see. So we have an agenda. It's a hidden agenda. And that is, let's open up this box from New York. I think this came from New York. What city in New York? I think it's a small city. I have to look up the city. I need glasses for this. Uh, Airport Exchange Suite. Wow. Edanger, Edanger, Kentucky. Oh, sorry. It's not New York. Unless they shipped it to Kentucky first. That's interesting. Oh, it's got something. No, here it is. Grandview, Utica, here. Ah, there we go. Utica, New York. So it got shipped from Utica, New York to Kentucky. And then it got shipped here. So that is what it is. Yeah, I got my power, super power glasses on. So it's uh, got some miles on it. It's probably put more travel miles on it than I have in the last few years. Wow. Jesus, man, 
This is, ha <laughs> ha, look at this, unbelievable, $50. You know what, here in Canada, you can't even buy a kit for 50 bucks at the model shop nowadays. Uh, the Mobius kits are almost 60 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks, some of the Mobius kits. So you know what, this is a treasure. Oh, he left a love note, fuck, I like it. Uh, oh, <laughs> Wow, Uptown, Uptown Automotive. He wrote a receipt even. Guess he can write it off out of country. Wow, look at this. Oh, I didn't know. Uptown Automotive, he's got a website and everything. Or no, best way to contact us. Uh, hobby source for car nuts, wheel deal and cars on small scale. Hey, you know what? Yeah, he does have a... Uh, you know what, we'll get dive into this after. But he does have uh, modeling stuff and maybe car stuff. Car nuts. Look at this. Never been opened before. Holy fuck. It's not crushed. Sorry, I swore. It's got a little bit of a slight tear. And the border never opened it. At least I hope this is recording. I gotta check because you know what? Uh, you guys get to watch me. In my thrill. Oh, it's it's recording. Mind you, I don't have much battery left. Here, let's do that. Ah, I got my superpower glasses on. I don't need the high power one. You know what? Wow. A Johan Superbird kit. Uh, you know what? I got to tell you the truth. When I first bought this kit way back in the 1980s, maybe early 80s, bought it from Hobby Store or Eaton's or maybe Woolworth or Woco. I, I, when, I, when I went to build this kit, open it up, I wasn't too impressed. And I think nowadays I might have thinking different thing, thinking differently. Well, that first day of my new lips. So, you know, I got a feeling this is going to go much better this time. So, very exciting. And you know what? I got a feeling this... Yeah, actually, I won't go there. Yeah, it says 50 bucks on the box. So, I got it for its minimum price. He was trying to sell it higher. And you know what? I heard at one time, if you check the codes on these, GC1470... GC could mean it's a green kit, that the body is maybe in green. So that's my question to you guys. Before I do the unboxing, what color is this? White, green, lime green, dark forest green, red, pink, blue, who knows, white, like that. But anyways, this is, we'll talk about this kit next time when I open it up. Or actually, maybe not. But anyways. <laughs> this is 19... When were these kits produced? Late 70s, I think. Uh, let's see if I can find a date. doesn't even say a date. Other than Johan Models, Detroit, Michigan. The instructions will have the date on it. So when we do the unboxing and that. And it's going to get built. In my project coming... So, anyhow, yeah, I, I'm just in awe. Uh, don't mind me. Thanks for sharing this. That's the best thing about YouTube. Guys, if you ever don't make YouTube videos, I suggest you do, even little clips, because you got these little moments caught on camera. I'm just, like, so beside myself. Um, The other kit, yeah, we won't, yeah, I won't go there. I won't bother talking about other kits. But if I get other kits... And if I do more eBay buys, uh, yeah, we'll do this again. Freaking A. And there we go. I just ripped the plastic a little bit more. Sorry about that. Wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit closer look at this work of art. This thing is just beautiful. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I ripped the package a little more. But it does look like the original wrapping. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is all in one piece? Do you think it's been unwrapped and rewrapped? I kind of doubt it, but you never know nowadays. You know what? Yeah. Do you think that means GC? You know what? 
I seen the other kit on eBay. It was cast in red. So what color do you think this one was cast in? Do you guys think red, white, or that factory blue, petty blue? Like this kit here, this guy has for sale for a hundred bucks US, but look at it's red. This super bird is cast in red. So that's why I'm gonna say, let's all take a guess in the comment section, see who comes up with the right color that this petty super bird kit is gonna be. You can either build it as a stock car or stock factory. That's what I remember. And uh, we're going factory on this, so, and we'll talk about the reason why I'm going factory on this. All right, cheers, stay awesome. It's an awesome day for me. I'm smiling, and I hope you guys are smiling. So model on, my friends. Look after each yourself, and look after each other. We'll see you next time. Cheers. No beer. Actually, this cause for celebration. I'm going to go have a beer right after this coffee. Mmm. Cheers, my friend.